going hunters Winnie here with book hunter I'm here today with Jason he's the other owner of book hunter yeah and I'm also the husband and the husband yeah. we got our mini hunters with us today I don't know if I can turn it there's jazz Little mini me's, and I'm currently being buried <laughs> while we do this video, so we're kind of stuck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold it. Okay, we are right. in uh, Clearwater, Florida. Um, Clearwater is right by Tampa, and this is the first time we've been to a beach here in Florida. We just recently moved here about a couple weeks ago um, from Utah, so we're here today having some family time. I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite quotes by Thomas Edison. And it goes something like, um, I didn't fail, I found 10,000 ways that didn't work. Um, is that how it goes? I think so. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> something like that. And he's the one that invented the light bulb, which is really cool. Um, obviously, the, the cool thing that stands out to me about that is how you know he didn't quit after a thousand times of trying right ten thousand ways that that he found that didn't work and he didn't call that as failure um, and in life whether in business or in life in general there are things that are gonna go wrong there are things that we're gonna fail on and um, and that's okay it, it depends on how we act on that failure um, uh, yeah and I, I'd like to add uh, when we were starting out in our business, I probably wanted to quit uh, numerous times at the beginning. And I was just, Winnie was persistent. She was persistent. And uh, had that never give up attitude right from the start. And uh, things have been working out. Uh, we've been able to grow our business. I think we 4 x like last year. So uh, if you just stick with it, your 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 business, your dreams, all of them will come true. I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. If you just keep working hard and uh, never give up, you know, yeah, you'll, you'll, you can you'll do achieve anything. your dreams. Yeah, yeah, you can do anything. And like, one, like she said. Uh, you know, there was a lot of bumps along the way and a lot of failures, but we learn from those. So we have to go through those with the right attitude. Yeah. So basically when things don't work, are you going to say like, oh, it didn't work. I'm done. I'm, I'm going to quit this business. You know, I'm not going to try again. Like an, an example is all of us had to go through walking, right? There was a time when we were constantly failing and falling, like literally each time we tried, right? But were we like, I'm not, walking is too hard, I'm not going to do that, right? We weren't. We, we got right back up, probably with tears still in our eyes, and we kept walking, uh, or we kept trying. And that's really cool to just, you know, like, oh, I made a mistake, or that didn't work, that's okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, so we can do that with anything in life as well, is, is just keep trying. Just keep moving forward and you can be successful. Yeah. Um, find that one thing, right? Like if you keep trying. And another thing I'd like to add, uh, with with our business, we've also grown our family. <laughs> and when we started, we had like two children. <laughs> and then like I was working at the time uh, in the nursery industry up in Oregon. And uh, we kept having children. <laughs> it wasn't really like a uh, plan to have a whole bunch, but uh, we ended up with five. Uh, we're done now, but uh, you can do it even with you have with with uh, a lot of children. <laughs> yeah. So our business actually grew a lot while I was pregnant. Like I'm the kind of person that doesn't like being held back or held down, and so a lot of the growth we had was during the time I was pregnant. Yeah, yeah. So again, it comes back to the never give up attitude. Um, and uh, there's really no excuses. <laughs> it's all up to you. Yeah. What's stopping is you. Other people may not agree with what you're trying to do, but it, it's all how you 
are dreaming about it, like how you want to move forward with it. It's real cool. Um, I want to also um, mention our swag. Our swag. We got our hats on and our shirt. Our mini our little hunters. Our mini hunters are wearing them as well. There's all five of them. Digging right there, burying our feet while we talk. <laughs> but um, the cool thing about this is like when we were talking about swag, like we were thinking about like maybe polos or things like that. And it's like, no, we don't really wear those. And so we found shirts that we wear a lot um, just from other companies and stuff and found out exactly what um, material they are and what brand and stuff they are. And so that's what we're wearing today. The nice thing about it is like, well, for me, you can <laughs> you can see my muscles. Look at those guns. There's there's something. <laughs> they're in there somewhere. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah, they're but there then some. with Jason, he has these nice broad shoulders, and then like his. Let me hold this for you. With his Hiya. arms, they kind of look like they're muscle really shirt. nice muscle shirts. Yeah. So they're really nice, and we have enough for us that we and comfortable. They're very comfortable. We wear this like every day. So if you see us out in Florida, come say hi. <laughs> we're probably wearing our swag because it's so comfortable. Yeah. But um, I guess we're being hailed. This little one is being busy right there. Everybody's having fun. The water is so nice and warm. There's a lot of shells here. We're in the Gulf side, so there's a lot more shells apparently. Um, anything else? I don't, I'm, I'm, that's all I got for today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Bye! Bye!